How you doing? We're here in uh, Balad, LSA Anaconda, and uh, we traveled all day yesterday to get from Mosul to here. And uh, the convoy was broken up, or the A51st, the whole company was broken up into three cereals. We were the uh, last cereal. And uh, the other two cereals are pretty much broken down in another uh, location called Taji, which is that south of Baghdad, or it's right before, no, it's right before Baghdad. We're about an hour away from Baghdad. They're a little bit closer than we are. Uh, so what we're trying to do here is get maintenance parts uh, to take down to them so they can get fixed and we can all get on the road again. And uh, we've got about two more days of travel. Like I said, we had not even moved from here yet, but this next leg is obviously the most dangerous because we're right in the Baghdad area. So uh, we're going to try to get everything uh, fixed and get the road on our way home. About time. There's uh, the rest of the convoy staged up right there. And uh, back here is the airfield. Lots of Blackhawks. And uh, lots of Army stuff. Hey, they said how long we're going to send it for? Uh, until about 10 15, last I heard. It's almost something over here. Yep. Yeah, and some belts. They fucked their equipment up. Not the kid! Say something back home. Say what? Say something for the people back home. Don't come near here. Don't join the army. Don't do it. No, I'm just Go. Uh oh. You hit the restroom. Anyway, uh, you got anything you want to say left? I can change up the camera there, buddy. Yeah, well, here we are in Anaconda. My friend, Captain Sickle, lives over there. We went and saw her last night. She's doing good. We're uh, in the uh, gun truck, obviously, as you can tell by the big 50 cal. Square it away. Something that Higgins will be playing with. I'll be driving. Playing with. We got our little pimp palace back here. Bed. Square it away. It's been a beautiful day in Iraq for once. For once. It's not too hot. Wind's blowing. Kind of a cool breeze. We had chow this morning. Our bellies are full. And ready to get home. We should be in Kuwait in two days. So after that, it's no more Iraq. Destroyed Iraqi vehicles. Well, here we are in Taji, which is an old Republican Guard military base just north of Baghdad. Actually, it's really in Baghdad. out too, bro. Huh? We're almost out. Huh? There's the second seal right back there. First seal already left. We're going to try to make it to Scania tonight, which is south of here, obviously, because we're going south. And now I'm going to turn over the mic to the HIG. What up, people? Live from Baghdad. Here we are. We're uh, getting ready to leave. Dangerous leg of the journey is an hour from now. Next three hours, critical to the staying alive function of being left. We're authorized to fire. Anything that moves. So, uh, well, not anything that moves, you know. Women and children excluded. But, uh, you know, I plan on coming home. Alibaba! Alibaba! Huh? Anyway, uh, so uh, we're getting ready to roll out. This is uh, March 23rd. We'll be home in April. Got anything 
else left? What time is it? What time is it? I got 4, 14.25 in the afternoon. I did. 2.25. Peace. Peace. Hello. We uh, made it from uh, Scania, which is in Iraq, down to Kuwait. Here we are, Max and relaxing in Kuwait. And uh, we had turned in all our ammo. As you can see, we got the... We're going to clean it and turn it in. Don't need it anymore because we're in friendly territory. Pua, out of the danger zone. Now all we got to do is uh, get down to the camp where we can wash all our vehicles, get on the plane, go home. Probably be here about 10 days, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, not sure at this point. We just got here last night. And uh, it's pretty pretty desolate out here, that's for damn sure. But uh, other than that, I mean, we're enjoying it. One last, one more leg before we go home. And uh, I'm just trying to work on my tan a little bit. Enjoying life. Left dog, you got anything to say? How you doing, how you doing? Yeah, we're in Kuwait here, as you can see, it's nothing but a desert, and uh, you don't even get to carry your weapon around here because these people, none of them have been up into the uh, host hostile combat zone. They're, they're all just what we call REMFs, which is rear echelon. Mofos. Mofos, yeah. And um, they freak out when they see a, a gun, you know, or a weapon or, or whatever. They, you know, they keep theirs locked up because they're never going into combat probably ever in their lives. But, of course, we'll you know, we just spent a year there. But here we are, we're one step closer to being home. Pua. We've got uh, another couple of hops ahead of us from here to Camp Victory, and then from there to maybe Camp Wolf. John or Wolf or somewhere like that. And we'll be getting on the plane here shortly. And About 10 days. Back to the States. We'll let you know what happens along the way.